If you like my video, please click on the like button and for more videos, please subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Explain partial molar quantities. There are two types of properties. One is intensive properties, one is extensive properties. Properties which does not depend on total amount of the substance but on the concentration of the substance or substances in the system are called intensive properties. For example, density, refractive index, everything depends on concentration not the total amount of the substance. On the other hand, properties which depend on the total amount of the substance or the total amount of different constituent of the system are called extensive properties. For example, mass, volume, internal energy, free energy, etc. depends on amount, not the concentration. Consider an open system composed of I constituents. Let n1, n2, n3, ni be the number of moles of constituent 1 to 3 and i respectively. Let x be the extensive property, its value is determined by the status of the system that is temperature and pressure and the amount of various constituent in the system. It means property x is a function of temperature, pressure and amount of various constituent. So I can write x is equals to f of t, p, n1, n2, n3 up to ni. This is equation number 1. The change in property dx due to the small change in temperature, pressure and the amount of constituent is given by dx is equals to delta x by delta t at constant pressure n1, n2, n3, ni, dp plus delta x by dp at constant temperature n1, n2, n3, ni, dt plus delta x by delta n1 at constant temperature, pressure, N2, N3, Ni, Dni plus delta x divided by delta N2 at constant temperature, pressure, N1, N3, Ni, etc. plus delta x divided by delta N3 at constant temperature, pressure, N1, N2, Ni, Dni plus similarly delta x divided by delta n i at constant temperature pressure n1 n2 n3 and up to n minus therefore dx is equal to delta x divided by delta t at constant pressure p n1 n2 n3 n i dp plus delta x by delta p at constant temperature n1 n2 n3 n i plus x1 bar dn1 plus x2 bar dn2 plus x3 bar dn3 plus d x i bar d n i where x 1 bar is the partial molar property and is given by x 1 bar is equals to d x divided by d n 1 at constant temperature pressure n 2 n 3 n i at a constant temperature and pressure the first two terms becomes 0 therefore d x is equals to x 1 bar d n 1 plus x 2 bar d n 2 plus x 3 bar d n 3 plus x i bar d n i in other words, the partial molar property is the change in the property x of system at constant temperature and pressure when one mole of a particular constituent is added to such a large quantity of the system that the added mole does not affect the composition of the system.